Welcome to Noah Gregson Land. Today we're going to talk about a homestead first of all and then we'll get into our picks for Martinsville. So homestead. Yes. Because Curse didn't work. Um, Andy Hamlin won a stage. Uh, the truck series. Grant and Finger all year. He's, I mean he did pretty solid but like you never had like race winning pace. All of a sudden two in a row. He's gonna look to uh, sweep the round and get a championship. And then the Xfinity series. Who would have guessed it? Austin Hill would have just came out swinging and got a victory. I mean not just a victory but he won every stage. Led every lap just about until Cole Custer got the lead in stage three. Looked to be a Cole Custer win. But not. Uh, but they made some changes still in the car that last run and they did not work. And Austin Hill made the right changes. Ended up being king of the hill. Ended up being king of the homestead. And uh King of the Beach. King of the Beach. I guess. Uh, so we got two people in the Xfinity series locked in who you got a guy that didn't do anything all year. He just, I mean, I forgot he even existed in this series. And AJ Allmendinger. And then Austin Hill, he just won super speedways. And now they're going for a championship. Yeah. That's so insane. Just, uh, what you gotta do, just don't do crap all year and uh, win a race in the, <laughs> in the last round and just have to survive, you know? Yes, I mean, it's just all part of the just, format. Just, no. just ride around and- Not their fault. Ride around and hope something happens. You know, just like Denny Hamlin at Talladega, just like, just be back here. And, He's never gonna let it go. Back here in La La Land and, oh, let's let everybody crash. And, and if it wasn't for that, he'd be out. It's insane how, how much flipped this round of eight would have been if uh, that crash did not happen. I mean, Cindric would probably still be in this. Uh, Briscoe probably not, unless he won Talladega. Uh, but yeah, it had been, been flipped for sure. Yeah. Uh, Suarez probably would have been in this round of eight. Uh, but let's talk about Cup Series at Homestead. Phenomenal race you had Almost all the round of eight drivers up there battling for the win. And you had Joe Ligano on a Sunday cruise. He didn't care. He's already locked in. <laughs> he did in. not care. He was <laughs> locked in. It looked uh, like Chase was going to take over. Yeah, uh, Chase Elliott had and some then, speed. And then Chase Elliott let me down. Um, I mean, everyone had moments, you know. I know I didn't pick Chase Elliott, but I want him in the final four. Tyler Reddick came out swinging. Uh, dominated most of that stage one. Uh, Kyle Larson had some speed, speed. He never really got control of the race, but he had, you know, some, some pretty good speed. Denny Hamlin, he had uh, that strategy in stage two, which led to a stage win. Really, stage wins don't do much other than 10 points. Um, so, he's still, he's still in the cutoff. Still in the still cutoff. Over. If we'll um, just keep him down there, eight, great. 18 points out. So Martinsville is going to be a battle between William Byron, Kyle Larson, and Denny Hamlin for that last spot. Uh, the only way that Christopher Bell is going to get eliminated is if he's first he round just absolutely sucks. <laughs> uh, because let's say Kyle Larson wins both stages and Christopher Bell is cruising in 30th somewhere. That's that's pretty much the only way that he's going to be out. Now watch that happen. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's going to be an intense race at Martinville. Yeah. Uh, so if this was the old package, I'd be excited. But I know how this is going to go. It's going to suck. It's going to suck. One of those guys are going to get it and they're gone. Whoever that is, there's nothing you can do about it. That's the way it's gonna be. There, There is no more beating and banging. 
at Martinsville. There is no more chaos. It's just going to be no hill mailing or nothing. No hill mail and mailing. Mailing. <laughs> no hauling the mail. Because uh, that's illegal now. So, and I really don't think you can do anything on strategy at all. Nope. Uh, there might be a chance to stay out on old tires, but that's. I mean, I don't see a fuel mile of race going here because. Always a bunch of now, I hope we're jinxing this and we yeah. see all these things, but I, I really don't. Yeah, I just hope Denny don't hit the wall and just ruin his day. Yeah, that'd be unfortunate. Yes. But let's talk about our picks. First up, let's go over the truck series. The truck series. I didn't even think I want to pick the truck series. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll just go for Sanchez again. Okay. <laughs> Sanchez again. I am picking Corey Hahn. Any reason why? Because it's time. He's good at Martinsville. I am picking Ty Majeski. He's looking pretty good on points, but he cannot settle for that. And he will not settle for that. He's going to tie his jet skis in the victory lane. And he's like, time for high? Well, I'm going to tell what time it is with my clock that I got. Big, you know. I'll always know what time it is. Anyway, the Xfinity. The Xfinity. <laughs> In the series, uh, I think Sam Mayer will be good here. Sam Mayer, I think he's the mayor of Martinville. <laughs> the mayor of everywhere, everywhere he goes, he's a mayor. Emily, I am picking his teammate Justin Algar. Justin Algar won this race last season in dramatic fashion. Will he do it again? I'm also picking a teammate of Sammy Smith in the eight car. I mean, that would be. Oh, so Brandon Jones, you won. Brandon Jones. Yeah, I, don't, where, I don't think there's this an is 88. where Brandon Jones lost it in the playoffs. I don't yeah. think there's an He just lost it. <laughs> so I think Brandon Jones is the only this teammate. Is where, uh, he don't have Ty Gibbs to knock him out of it. No, no Ty Gibbs. Uh, so I don't know. I think Sammy Smith has a really good shot here Out of all the tracks that he could go to I believe this is one he can go to and Get that win Will just be the race that Parker Kligerman wins without the caution hitting at the start finish line He's like dang, I just could have got, got in It's funny if he runs Phoenix So I think Algar and Custer are pretty good on points. They just don't need anyone below the cut line to win. If Sammy Smith wins, one of them is out. So that that's that's going to be their battle. And now on to the Cup Series. Cup Series. I'm picking Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin. He's wondering what has been going on in this playoffs. Why is he had and also bad his team the force. and also his team his team got stung by bees. <laughs> he bounced off of him and hit his team. Sorry guys, I'm. Anyway, I hope I am not jinxing this driver, Chase Elliott. I'm picking Chase Elliott. Um, if he loses. You Chase Elliott fans, do not get mad at me. <laughs> I want him in the final four. I'm not responsible for anything that happens. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they very good last week. So. And as for me and my pick, I'm going with the long shot. Kyle Larson. So, he's below the cut line by seven points. He is battling William Byron for that spot. Just like Ty Majeski, he is not going to settle for points. He goes to every 
race in the, to end the round and just dominates. That's what he's going to do here today. Larson could Not today. This weekend. Larson could have won Homestead if he didn't try to wreck Blaney. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of... He, he tried to shoot through the hole, but kind of lost the grip or something right there. So now, in the cup side, the playoffs have been a guy that got lucky and won Nashville because he saved fuel. And then he got lucky at a super speedway. Then he got lucky with the disqualification. That's how he got it. Tyler Reddick won a super speedway. Won one mile and a half and then out of nowhere comes out when Homestead. So it's just the the final four in every series is like what? <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if Tyler Reddick won the championship and Denny Hamlin was not in the final four? <laughs> and Denny Hamlin gets to win a championship. Just wasn't his. <laughs> <laughs> and the team that won the championship if it is Tyler Reddick. It's suing NASCAR. <laughs> also, there will be a points change for fast picks. Just a slight one, not a big earth shaking one. But every stage win will be 10 additional points. So, so think who you want to win the stage or? That is 20 bonus points you can get in each race. So that could be make or break for a champion. We got uh, Victor Santiago last year's champion. He's, he's mad about that, I guess. He's throwing things. Um, versus Nick Weil. He's about 100 points back. There is a shot. <laughs> it's a small shot, but there's a, there's a shot. Maybe he'll save fuel and, and stay out. <laughs> It wins. He's the Joey Logano of the fast picks. <laughs> um, and then we'll evaluate next season to see if we want to continue that or or what we're going to do. This season's definitely been a a slump for us, I guess. Like we we just kind of been throwing these out. So, what kind of changes would you like to see? For next season let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week for the final one of the season for phoenix